This year cartoon got me over 1 million views on X, brought 1000 followers and today I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a cartoon like this from scratch with no prior experience using just a few basic AI tools. Step by step I'll walk you through the process teaching you how to quickly change the style of any image, generate different camera angles, animate your shots with AI, stitch them together in CapCut and finally add sound effects and music. So let's get started! Okay, so the first thing you need to come up with is a list of ideas. And you might ask me, what's an idea? So in this case, idea is a combo made out of two main elements. The first one is a core image, and the second one is a short story. What's the core image? Each time you begin with the process of creating a cartoon, uh, you need one image based on which you will generate with AI all the following shots in your cartoon storyboard, which later you will turn to animated scenes using image to video tool and the second one is a short story a story you're going to tell throughout these scenes right so once you have your list of ideas probably at this point they'll be in a shape of images just go through all of them and choose one choose one based on which you like the most which one has the best story to tell in my case i had these six uh, ideas six memes while i was looking at them a brilliant idea crossed my mind i thought bro what if I take this Pakistani guy and make as if he is watching this Australian breakdancer dancing at Paris Olympics. Because the catch here is that everyone knows this Pakistani meme, right? But only a few knows to whom he is looking at. If I create a cartoon where he is looking at this another globally recognizable meme, it will have a really high chance of going viral. 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 So yeah, that's what I did. The following process was really enjoyable and fun. So once you come up with an idea you really like, open ChatGPT, upload your image, and instead of typing Ghibli file, bro, uh, type this. Ghibli style of two same images with one on top, one at the bottom. Why this approach is way better than the standard one when you just get one picture as an output? So it's because ChatGPT has this annoying problem that bothers many users. It often gives the result in a square one by one aspect ratio, no matter what size the input was, and no matter whether you ask for a different aspect ratio when uploading your picture or not. So by asking for a collage, you're basically forcing it to generate both images in four by three aspect ratio. Now do the same for uh, the second image. So now we have our both images ghiblified, but since we are aiming for a 15 second cartoon, which would have at least five different scenes, we are going to need at least three more ghiblified images. So here is our cartoon storyboard. Now let's put this image as shot number one and this image as shot number three. Now think what image could go as shot number two so it would look natural. I think it would be great to have a over the shoulder shot of this Pakistani guy as if he is watching at this girl dancing. Something like this one. So your only option is to go to ChatGPT, upload your both ghiblified images and come up with a prompt that would be really clear so the ChatGPT would understand the idea and what you want. So you can try this. Create a camera over the shoulder shot where a man is watching a brick dancing competition and seeing Australia performing from a distance. So as we can see, this result has some serious drawbacks. So the first one is that the people, the crowd sitting around the Pakistani guy are gone. And the second one is that the break dancer is a bit uh, too close. I, I would say too close to the Pakistani guy. So we need to fix this. So how do we do this? We just simply type other viewers have to be seen too. Also the distance between the guy and the dancer has to be further. So this is just the simple feedback we give and we hope for the best. So as you can see from this result, this is way better. The distance between the Pakistani guy and the dancer is increased, the crowd is added, but the picture is one by one, not four by three as we need, right? So if that happens, if you forget to ask ChatGPT to generate it in a collage, there are few other options what you can do. The first one is to open Photoshop and by using expand tool you just expand the borders of the image press generative expand and generate 
So this is called the generative fill tool. You can use it in Photoshop if you have one and uh, it really can help you to expand your image or if you want to add some elements, you can just simply use the lasso tool, right? Mark the area you want to change and you can just type crowd, right? And it just adds elements you need. So the second option is to go to freepick.com, press here on edit, upload your image, and then press here resize 4x3 as you can see the canvas turned to 4x3 aspect ratio and then you can just leave this blank just press expand and freepick.com will give you free results also what you can do with this tool you can not just expand but you can also edit it with a retouch option for example you zoom here you mark this cap here and you just type green cap and we will just change the shape of the dancer's cap a bit so it would look a bit better than the previous one so as you can see the cap is way looking way way better especially this one than the previous one which was this all right so this shot is almost finished apart one tiny detail Take a look at these two images, shot one and the new shot two. The hand position in these images is different. Here he is holding his hands by his sides and here the position is different. Even though it's a small detail, we need to make sure that our scenes are consistent, not just in style but also in the how the objects and characters look like. Okay nice, so now we have half of our storyboard, let's put this image right here and let's go through all of it. So our main meme image goes as the first shot then over the shoulder shot of pakistani guy looking at australian dancer and then the full shot of the australian girl dancing now we need to add some storytelling a little twist to the story the funnier siller or more unexpected it is the better so i thought okay this guy is really annoyed by what he's seeing so he must do something that would reflect that Ideas that came into my head were three. First, he's leaving a stadium. Second, he's making a face palm. And the third, he starts vomiting. This one seemed, you know, the most funny for me, so I decided to go with it. So I've just duplicated the first image and put it as shot four because I will make him vomit when I add an animation with AI. For the fifth scene, we can put the Australian dancer that keeps doing her funny thing, but instead of using the same pick, we can just duplify another image from Google. And to finish up our storyboard, let's generate a wide shot of referees in Paris Olympics that showing zeros for her performance. So to do that, let's upload the fifth shot uh, of the Australian girl dancing and just uh, explain uh, to ChatGPT clearly, if you want, you can add some more detail, what exactly you want. Yeah, so this is what we got. If we forgot to make it four by three, just go to free pick, press resize, select four by three aspect ratio, leave prompt empty, press expand, press expand, and it will generate a pretty decent result, which you will put in your storyboard as the last shot of your cartoon. So this is our final plot. Short, easily understandable, and simple. Let's move on to animation. As you might know, there are many image to video tools that might bring your images to life, but for cartoons, for cartoon type of images, there are only two. It's Kling and it's Runway. But unfortunately, all other apps, they're not yet capable of animating cartoon images, and out of these two, only Runway can animate anime type of images, which is uh, our cartoon is made of. Maybe someone of you watching this tutorial never used image to video tools, but the principle of how it works is that you simply upload an image, you type the prompt of what specific animation you want to be added to your static image, and just like that, it's being brought to life by AI. Though as the tech is still early most of the times, the animation is really off, but the better your prompts are, and the more you practice, the better results you can get. Now let's open Runway website, get started, generate video, and now I'll upload the first image from our cartoon storyboard and type a prompt which will be man does a facepalm very disappointed and i'll press generate a few times 
So I got some lame results, but I also got some good results. For example, like this one or this one. So I'll choose this one and then I'll download it. We'll open a CapCut, put it right here and let's see how does it look like. Yeah, so we have a consistency issue, which is character pose consistency. As you can see, his hand position is one hand on his forehead and another by his side. But in the shot number two, both his hands are on his side. So, well, we need to fix it, right? So what we can do in this situation, we can trim this video like this. Then we will reverse it by pressing this button. And now the first shot of our video became the last shot. So it starts like this. His hand goes by his side and then the first shot looks like this. So there are no consistency issues anymore. Great. So now let's animate the second shot. Let's upload the second image from our storyboard. Let's write man watches a woman who is dancing very awkwardly. I press generate and almost immediately got this perfect shot. Then I place it to CapCut and I already have third of my cartoon animated. For the third scene I've used almost the same prompt I used for the second one and I got these two shots. As you can see both of them are off and the problem is that with these image to video tools uh, there is this problem that when you're working on scenes that are really fast paced like car chase people dancing or boxing right when they're like something is moving really fast it gets hard for software to create frames correctly so it makes the motion look choppy and unnatural so to make this static image to be animated in a right way i just added words that she is dancing very slowly not just awkwardly that's the result way way better okay let's download it and put it to CapCut. Trim a bit. And now we have our third scene animated. So we already have three scenes. We are all the way through. This fourth scene was the best and the most fun one to make because I just put prompt man starts vomiting. And from the first try, I got this scene. And when I posted the full video on X, people got questions about this specific scene. For the fifth one, I need something that would imply that Fee is done with her performance. So I typed girl finish her dancing moves and got this scene. For the last scene, I needed a video where judges lift up their uh, cardboards with zeros. But as I already had this static image where cardboards are up, I just typed a prompt, judges put the cardboards down. So I'll just reverse this video and instead of lifting them up, they will put them down. Easy. And then I upload everything to CapCut and now I have all my shots like a storyboard animated. Let's watch it before uploading it on X. <laughs> So then I went on X, uploaded a video, added a short tutorial on how it's made, posted it and went to sleep. And next morning I wake up and it's 300 new followers, 2000 likes and 200,000 impressions. But by the end of the day, I finished with almost 8000 likes, 1000 new followers and more than a million impressions. That was a staggering result. And I think it worked because the joke, the cartoon was easily recognizable. It's two well-known memes. It's a good joke. And um, that vomiting was a plot twist. And it was also short, fast paced and had a really cool soundtrack. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have plenty of new tutorials coming up. So if you want to become really good at creating cartoons with AI, subscribe to my channel. Also, you can leave your email for my new, new, new weekly newsletter. And uh, yeah, uh, see you in the next one. Bye.